Mr. Clank, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Then you will help me in a time-honored tradition. ladies and gentlemen the 12 minute contest time is the longest time frame we have on the major league eating circuit George Chigger has gone for a think first eat second approach it would seem Joey Chestnut using that water to help the ribs go down oh so tastefully Check it on Jeffrey Esper. Jeffrey Esper is working absolutely methodically. Jeffrey Esper. Um, last month, a 281 Hooters chicken wings in just 10 minutes, defeating the great Joey Chestnut in that discipline. He would like to come off the back of that incredible victory and shock the world with a ribs victory in his first ribs event as a major league eater. close to the table. He's trying to limit the time. When you're six foot nine, you need to get close to the table. You don't want to waste time working on getting food to mouth. Two minutes down. Ten minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the contest, we will weigh the debris and use science, the magic of science, to determine the results. Vicky Sudo moving on to what appears to be tray number two. Our eaters are eating very cleanly. They are doing a fantastic job of separating meat from bone. Darren Breeden eating absolutely beautifully. Readers are moving on to their additional trays. Nine minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Nine minutes to glory. Nine minutes to the point where you don't have to eat any more ribs, even though you would like to. I guess. You can see some different techniques at the stage. Mickey Sudo. Leaning to the side. I Joey Jess are using the water. Using the water as he does so well. Helping to flush down each and every bite. Who saw the wiggle here from Nick Wary? I like seeing Nick Wary's wiggle. It is a muscular wiggle. It is a beautiful wiggle. It's a wiggle that I can really get into. It's a wiggle. Oh, the additional wiggle from Wary. That was free. <laughs> You will see Nick Wary's dance moves later on tonight at some of Minneapolis' finest discotheques. <laughs> Derek Hendrickson, on debut in the Ribs Desk Group. We're inside eight minutes. This is an ancient battle between man and woman and meat. A battle rooted in anti antiquity. A battle that dates back to our time in the caves. Where we were just learning how anything works. Jeff Esper, using that blue liquid. I promise you it is not Windex. Despite appearances. That would be not only dangerous, but frankly disgusting. 
and Jeffrey is a man of taste and intelligence. Michelle Lesko, famous for her manual dex, her hand strength. It has been said by Major League Eating Chairman George Shea that Michelle Lesko has what we call in the trade chicken stranglers. Hands perfect for cha strangling chickens, perhaps on a poultry farm or just for kicks. But she's using those hands now to break down the rib meat as she forges on. today. Jaron Breedon doing likewise, but Jeff Esper appears to be edging ahead. Oh. Oh. None of these are official counts during the contest. We'll weigh the trays at the end to determine the results. Tray number three. As it would appear, is Darren Breeden. Per my previous remarks, Esper appears to be eating the cleanest. Will that pay off at the end of the contest? When weighing is done and tallies are judged, Darren Breeden looking deep within himself, trying to find the perfect rib. The rib that will set him free both spiritually and emotionally here today. It is a journey that chooses us all, but only the bravest answer, and Breeden has answered it here today. $4,000 on the line. Five minutes to go! Five minutes to go. We're past the halfway point. There's no point turning around now. If you needed to go, you should have gone before we left home. <laughs> Jeff Esper appears to be swooning and is concerned that he is finding these ribs far too delicious. Four and a half to go, Edith. You can see the incredible capacity, the incredible techniques, how our eaters are using their hands to separate meat from bone as they chew, so that there's no lag time between chew and swallow. It's a never-ending cycle of consumption. It's a never-ending cycle that I can get behind. Four minutes to go, Edith! Michelle Lesko putting on a clinic of hand speed. Michelle Lesko reminds me of a DJ in the DJ booth, spinning the hot wax from the west side for everybody's backside. Her hands moving so fast. Gideon Oji moving on to tray number three. Three and a half to go, Edith. We see once again the mighty St. Louis style pork rib crushing the proud and raising up the humble with each and every bite. Our readers are on a journey here today, a journey of self-discovery. The winner not only earns $2,000 and the title of the world rib eating champion at least for the next year. They also learn valuable lessons. Three minutes to go eaters. Chestnut. We'll see if Jeff Esper's cleanliness will pay off. Chestnut muscling his way through this event. He is certainly the most experienced rib eater on the stage here today. The greatest rib eater who has ever walked the earth. Less than two and a half minutes to go. This is like mile 20 of the marathon. The mind says no. 
the body says no. Friends and family say, for the love of God, no. But it's human will. It's the human spirit, the indomitable human spirit that forces these men and women ever forward, ever onward, with each and every fight after glory. Now we have the adjudication process to undergo. I'm going to do a little bit of judging at the stage. Then I'm going to be back to talk to our eaters. DJ Flash Mike, hit that next track, brother man. 